<laughs> where are the dead cats? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chef Samuel Redman. Sometimes you're hungry. Sometimes you're broken high, like us. You gotta eat. The dirty get fed, and the dirty stay hungry. Is that what you came up with, sir? We're going to an undisclosed supermarket to find the cheapest shit that we can possibly find to cook a gourmet meal. So, okay, hang with it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the honey pot. We are dangerously close to the lingerie section with a camera. Let's see if we can get kicked out. Oh God! Hold on. Wait, go back. What's he do? No, no, no pizza rolls. No pizza rolls. It's, it's it's art, and it's right by the corn dogs. Right? Right. right. Here, shut the door. I want to see what it looks like. Oh, it looks exactly like what you think it Perfect. looks like. Perfect. It's a big cold dick. Oh. Dirt bag nachos. Dirt bag nachos. What are those, Dirty D? Literally. Oh, God. Just dump it right out of the can. Ladies and gentlemen, the, no, the most depressing aisle in the entire grocery store. When you're broke, what do you eat? You eat dirty, disgusting shit out of a can. And that's what we're going to cook with tonight. All right, here's the tuna. Oh. We got to go for the cheapest, cheapest shit. Where's the cheap shit? The cheap, dirty, bottom of the barrel. Oh, there it is. That's what we want. That's disgusting. Perfect. All right. All of the ingredients that you see before you, ladies and gentlemen, were purchased for $10. We have dirty, nasty albacore tuna, some delicious red potatoes, some of the cheapest goddamn eggs that money can buy, one yellow onion, some fresh coriander, or if you're Mexican, cilantro, a poblano pepper. These don't count, but they are delicious. Sriracha, hot chili sauce, not the good kind. We had to get the shitty stuff because we're on a budget. Chopped green chilies, garlic, beer candy, and uh, some green beans. Daniel and I are going to eat these. They're actually just red. Cheers. Oh! Get the juice. You got to suck it. the juice. Oh, yum. Oh, get it. Oh, it smells so good, too. <laughs> It's not so bad. Really? Arguably the best use for a GoPro camera of all time. In fact, dare I say exactly what the GoPro was invented for. Just a dude shucking some beans. Look at the camera, Jeffrey. <laughs> Prep work. It's a motherfucker. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, you, we yeah. gotta watch that. Oh, yeah, 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 you picked that up. <laughs> they put she's running from it. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You're chasing my cat with Tuna. <sighs> I guess we should just start cooking. Chopping some potatoes. Chopping some potatoes. See, for, for tonight, we're gonna cut these into little quarters like this. And if you notice, I'm keeping my hands away from the blade so I don't chop my fingers off. Look at that. Red potatoes. I'm excited. Daniel, you excited? I love me some red potatoes. Put your dick on the cutting board then. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. So the most important thing in a kitchen, honestly, if you're going to learn how to cook, is how to, how to cut something without fucking cutting yourself, right? So the first thing you need is a knife. You got to have a nice sharp knife. I got a Santoku here. You got to make sure that this motherfucker is sharp. It's not sharp. You got to cut yourself. All right, let's start with an onion because onions are very important to this dish. We're going to turn this bad boy on his side. Oh, we're going to cut him in half without cutting off our fingers. Now, you see this little part right here? You don't want to cut that off because it releases all the essential oils that are inside the onion and it's going to make you cry like a bitch. So now what we're going to do is we're going to reach over here and we're going to strip this bad boy. Part of him comes off that we didn't want to, but that's okay. Rip him right off. Throw that motherfucker right there. Now, the most important thing, folks, is keep your fingers away from the goddamn knife. You don't want to chop your fingers off. So, we're going to start here, and we're going to go just like this in a row. Now, turn the onion this way. Cut it this way. And one, two, three, four, five. Look at that. Diced onion. By the way, don't you love this beautiful cutting board that we're using here today? It's fantastic. Here we go. Diced onion, ladies and gentlemen. And I still have my fingers. 
Daniel's in the bathroom. He doesn't think that there's anybody following him. <laughs> oh, look at you. You got beer coming in and beer going out. That's how we do it. How does that even work, sir? Let me get another shot of the can. Turn it to your lips. Act like we're, you're we're in, not trying well, to. Cover up the label. This isn't product advertising. There you go. Smile. See? This is, we're making a cooking show. Say DBG. <laughs> you almost threw up. <laughs> if you look closely into my sexy toaster oven, you will see a beautiful poblano pepper. That's going in our sauce. All right, so what we got going on here right now is the makings for our seafood croquettes. Now, generally, these would contain something much better than just this regular ready-ass tuna. Maybe some crab, maybe some lobster, but we're on a budget. That's why it's called Dirtbag Gourmet. Uh, in this bowl, I've got some tuna, I've got some diced onion, which you saw me do, and a little bit of garlic paste that we made. We've got some, some gross uh, cheap eggs. I'm gonna crack a couple in here, just like this. Pow! All right, got the uh, the staple saltine crackers. Now we didn't buy these. I found these in my cabinet up here, but uh, these are a little stale. <laughs> these are these are get a shot of Daniel eating. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> the staler the better. Okay, so yeah. uh, stale crackers are going in this sun bitch right here. We're gonna put just a touch of olive oil because I feel like it lightens up the flavor just a little tiny bit. We got Dijon mustard here. Just a little tiny dollop. This is, this is the, was more than a dollop, <laughs> sir. the gross stuff. A little Mediterranean sea salt, garlic powder. This stuff is fantastic. I love it. It does impart a pretty decent garlic flavor on what you're what you're doing here. Some Italian seasoning. This has a lot of good stuff in it. Oregano and, and other stuff. It's not open yet, but it'll open it after we're done with this. Uh, a little bit of black pepper, ground red pepper, which is basically just cayenne. We're gonna add a little heat to it, and then we're gonna kick it up a little further. Daniel, sriracha. Uh, crushed red pepper. Gonna add just a little more heat right here. And this is going to be not only for our seafood croquettes, but also for our sauce. We've got some chopped green chilies. Used to live in New Mexico, love this shit. Now, we are big fans of sriracha. If you haven't tried this shit, go out, buy yourself a bottle. It is the number one condiment in the world as far as I'm concerned. This is a, uh, a different brand than we normally buy. It, it kinda has a fishy taste, but it's delicious. Well, that's going in here. You're gonna see us put all this together here in a second. You gotta get in here and mash this shit together. Don't use a spoon. Use your hands like a like a like an angry Thai hooker at a at a, at a cheap uh, rub and tug. That's what you need to do. So rub and scissors. <laughs> get in, grab a hold of it, and get angry at it. And we're gonna show you how to put it all together in a second. All right, got our roasted red potatoes here in the pan with a little Italian seasoning. A little garlic, a little olive oil. Ooh. Here we go, a little bit of a flip. Look at that. Always a way. Oh. Shit. <laughs> Always away from you, folks. And the GoPro wasn't attacked, but go. Looks tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it's farting. You gotta really get in there, baby. Use those big muscles. He's got a cigarette hanging. Get, get a shot of the cigarette. This is the way that the, the, the people in China cook. Fucking cigarettes just hanging right over the bowl. Yeah, spit it in the fucking, spit it in the goddamn dish pit, you dirty bastard. You fucking asshole. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's going to be delicious. He didn't even wash his fucking hands. He just got done taking a piss. Cut! All right, so basically what we got going on here is the piece de la resistance, the, the thing that ties this whole dish together. It's a sriracha poblano cream sauce. And the way that you make this basically is we start off with a roux, uh, half butter to half flour, equal parts. Let that cook down for a minute. You don't want to just go ahead and add your liquid to that because it's going to taste really floury. Once you get it cooked down a little bit, nice and blonde, maybe a little brown to it. Go ahead and add room temperature milk, which is what I did in this case. A little tiny bit of cream. Let it cook down a little bit till it starts to get thick. I added a little bit of my sriracha that I have over here, some fresh garlic, and some of the roasted poblano pepper that I had, and uh, salt and pepper to taste. And now we have this beautiful, luxurious cream sauce that's gonna go on top of our seafood croquettes. Our seafood croquettes are now uh, lightly uh, sauteing, if you will, in our pan. Got a little bit of olive oil in here, and we're just cooking them lightly so they brown on the on the outside. These are about ready to flip. 
As soon as these are ready, we got our potatoes done, we got our sauce done, we got our green beans ready. We're gonna throw this together, I'm gonna show you how to play it. Uh, it's gonna be fucking fantastic, so stick around. Okay, so right here we have our finished, beautiful sriracha poblano cream sauce. Over here we have our sauteed herbed red potatoes. Over here is the green beans that we sauteed with garlic and olive oil and a little bit of red pepper. Our seafood croquettes, if you would call them that, via tuna, and uh, a little bit of uh, fresh coriander. Now I'm gonna show you how to plate it up real quick. And this is uh, this is a fine dining meal, right fellas? Right. Say something. Absolutely. All right, so first, Delicious. first and foremost, we're gonna go with the potatoes. You always wanna put your starch down first. That's how I like to do it. Starch starts right here. Put a little starch here. Look at those potatoes. I can't wait to eat this shit. All right, now we got our uh, our seafood croquettes here. I'm gonna layer these one on top of each other. Got our green beans. Put a little of these right here to the side. Look at that sexy shit. And now for the piece de la resistance. A little of this beautiful sriracha poblano cream sauce. You can make this shit at home. It's easy. What do we make this for? Less than ten dollars, correct, gentlemen? Yes, sir. We're drunk. <laughs> it's just been a long day. Been smoking, drinking, and uh, and still, it's been a lot. Been a lot of fun. Last but not least, I like to put a little bit of uh, a fresh coriander right on top because it freshens it up and uh, it gives it a little a little body to it. Go to him. He's so hungry. He's drunk and he's feeding it. He's feeding the beast. Get the beans. Get the beans. Shove them beans in there. That's a big boy. Give me a bite. Give me a bite. Give me a bite. Come on. Yeah, cut me off one. Yeah, no, I mean for me, you son of a bitch. I've been cooking. I'm hungry. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. And that's how you do it. Dirt back gourmet. The hungry the dirty get dirty. Get... And the dirty get fat. The hungry get dirty, and the dirty get fed. Nom Network. Nom nom nom.